Today, five of the world's biggest banks agreed to plead guilty to felonies and will pay more than $5 billion in fines. Federal prosecutors call their crimes breathtaking. They include a price-fixing scheme to manipulate foreign currency exchanges and a plot to fix interest rates. The fines are among the largest ever. Jeff Pegues is following this. They called themselves the cartel. Prosecutors say a group of traders at the banks discussed fixing the prices of U.S. dollars and euros in secret online chat rooms. Assistant Attorney General Bill Baer. The dollar-euro spot market is as big as it gets. Every day, about 500 billion worth of dollars and euros are traded in this market. According to the Justice Department, the collusion started in 2007 and lasted five years. Attorney General Loretta Lynch says the traders increased their commissions and the bank's bottom line. Their actions inflated the bank's profits while harming countless consumers, investors, and institutions around the globe, from pension funds to major corporations, and including the bank's own customers. Court documents show the brazenness of the traders at Barclays Bank. In 2011, one trader wrote, we're trying to manipulate it a bit more in New York now. Another said, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Four of the banks pleaded guilty to antitrust violations. In a written statement, Barclays CEO Anthony Jenkins said the people involved have once more brought our company and industry into disrepute. And J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon called the conduct a great disappointment. More than a dozen bank employees have been fired, but the Justice Department has been criticized for not charging individuals in major financial cases, including this one. Prosecutors touted the fact that the banks themselves were charged rather than subsidiaries. But, Scott, because of agreements made with regulators, all the banks will continue to operate normally despite their guilty pleas. More felonies on the rap sheet of Wall Street. Jeff, thanks very much.